your sexual character is more important than your sexual preference. Bishop Jordan right now and his family is traumatized. And I got to witness things because I got to see them without their armor. One of the things that really happens and seldom talk about is that there's something called Christ, the body Christ is mess. Okay. Uh. Well. Well. Uh. T. D. J. H. You know, pray for him. No, I'm not praying for him. I told you, I, I'm a man of God still, and I made a comment on yesterday, and I said there's a lot of you out there that sit up there. And you, you, you talking about don't criticize T. D. J. H. But yet you criticize other preachers out there standing the truth. Let me make this very clear. I can care less how much arrogant you think that. Uh, uh, Gino Genesis is, and I'm sure and if we me and Gino Genesis talk, there are some things that we make gray areas that we have to discuss. But he's a man of God, and he's my brother. If a man, he, 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 the Bible said, he that do the wills of my father is the same my mother, my brother, and my sister. And if all you got is arrogance because Gino Genesis preached the word, whatever he preached that the word does not offend me. And like I said in the class, if it offends you, if that man offends you, then that means you got to check your own spirit. Because whatever the Holy Ghost is saying, and we're going to address this tonight, and if you're offended by the Holy Ghost, then you just offended. Some of these people take me out. I've been seeing on the internet that people been holding whole messages, whole teaching sessions defending TDGs. Now, uh, uh, one thing that, that y'all say that we, we don't know, well, we don't know. Uh, one thing I do know, that ain't no man of God supposed to be at no P. Diddy party, period. No no man of God. I don't care who you is, even if it was a T.D. Jakes. And then we got this other preacher told some well, uh, trying to prophesy and say, well, there's going to be a whole lot of suitcases and then the Lord telling him, well, if it's so, it's so. You understand what I'm saying? If it's so, so. Y'all defend these guys. Not only their congregation keep them alive, you keep it alive. With your old backwards mentality. And this is what I'm saying. If it's in the word, then it's in the word. Listen, look in the mirror and see what you're doing. Look in the mirror and see if you helping somebody get saved. And this one guy, he was on live for a whole hour telling us something. We have to look at the fruits of... Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Just because a man got a big church does not mean that he's right. And a small church is not jealous of the people that got big churches. And if you got any sense, if you any doctrine degree holder, you will understand that the Bible said that hell is large itself because more people are going to hell now. So in, in from the big churches. And you will also know when Jesus came out from uh, dinner with the angel after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, the devil have approached him and tried to give him the temple, power over the temple. Just because you got a big church don't mean that you're helping nobody. When you got a big church, that means that people that like sin can uh, uh, habitate in it, can can go there. That's the only thing that means. And preachers that defended him, a lot of you is in mess. That's the reason why you defended him. Now, too, if you've been really listening to my teaching, I, I'd never say that them allegations is true. My thing is this, if, if, you, if, if, if it walks like a duck, bark like a duck, then it's a duck. A lot of you people, be, be, people out there telling something the Lord spoke to you. And, they, and, and then y'all say, even 2020, the Lord spoke to you. Well, you was wrong about the corona. And you was wrong about a lot of things. The church world is messed up. It's messed up because y'all have adopted, y'all have voted for these type of guys to be examples before these people that don't know Jesus. The church is a mess, not because we bring it up. The church is a mess, it's because the leaders make it a mess. It wouldn't even be a conversation if he wasn't even over P. Diddy House. Nothing good happens at P. Diddy House. And then y'all, get like I said, you get on people like, oh, Gino Chinnis is arrogant, he think he know. Let me tell you something. Any man that preached the word, if he know what he know, he know what he know. And so what? If he do act like that, he's still ours. You accept them people that sinners. If that man living right, if if Gino Jenner is living right, living holy, and and I, I care less about his arrogant God to deal with that. And not only that, if 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 you think he arrogant, why would you see a lot of y'all talking about he arrogant, but you never say he wrong. 
See, that's the difference. He, if he angry, is he right or is he wrong? And people don't know how to deal with the truth. Really angry or not? Well, these uh, clever old dollar was a deceiver. He, he, and he, he showed you he was a deceiver. Just like T.D. Jakes and the rest of them. So if you call yourself holy, you ain't supposed to be on the side of an unrighteous man. And stop saying, well, we ain't have no... Well, again, none of you preachers answer that question. What is he doing at P. Diddy Park? What is he hanging around P. Diddy for? What is he... And it started. It didn't even start it. And then y'all tell us something. The world, the world is trying to get against... You got going. go, oh, yeah, out there. The, the world, the world is against... Man, let me tell you something. The world is not against... P, uh, not not P. Diddy. The world is not against... Uh, uh, T.D. Jakes. A lot of the world is defending T.D. Jakes. Yeah, y'all are not y'all looking at the wrong news. Because he had to pack. They was all against him. He wouldn't have packed out that church the other day. So you sitting up there talking about so you defending that man. Why is he why is he hanging around sinners? And don't talk about because Jesus did. Jesus was at a party with sinners. He didn't hang around and a wedding with sinners. A wedding. And y'all take me out, preachers, but you sit up there and you want to defend, you want to, if you holy, then be holy. You defend the things of the temple. And then, again, if you're a preacher, you get mad at, at, at a man that's preaching the truth, then you need to check your life. You need to check your ministry. And, 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 and mad because uh, T.D. Jakes got, got caught. It, it, like I said, he ain't no business over there. What you over there for? If you in the house with people murdering folks and the police keep the door and all of y'all going to prison and y'all world take me out by that, the church world. And it started from that girl that was, that, 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 that told it all about, about, uh, uh, uh P Diddy. She wasn't even thinking about no TDGs and his name came up with evidence why don't you talk about him not being repentant? How you know what? It's arrogant that T D J would get in front of millions of people and say that if he did do it, all he had to do is there's enough blood to cover him. Y'all don't say nothing about that. And then he said, Well, I don't need to lose the blood. I just walk over this situation. You know why? Because he see that he's he's he's, he's people defending him. And then give me one message out of 30 years that he preached that had to do with holiness. It's our holy so-called people that don't stand. That's the reason why when we brought out yesterday, it's the, it's the Jews, his own people that took him to the cross. And if people can be blind and take Jesus to the cross and lie on him, then what do you think about us? They don't... See, what it is, is that you don't like people to speak the truth, and you call us arrogance, and you call us this, that, and other. If you're going to call uh, 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 the, the man of God arrogance, you might as well call me arrogant. And it's not arrogance. It's called something, and this is what it's called, telling the truth. The, uh, arrogance is self-interest. And any man that preaches the truth has no self-interest. Because if I had self-interest, I'd just preach happy messages to you. And then not only that, why don't you say nothing at this moment, a at this, this moment that the world is against T.D. Jakes. But it didn't stop him from collecting no offering either. On that same day, he looked out there and see it was wall to wall. Just like that other homosexual pastor that died. The kid, they put him up on a horse. So how in the world, who, who, who are you for? You for the word? And then, and then y'all tell me something. Well, like we supposed to shut up. Why, why do we shut up? The church has shut it up. The true church has shut it up too long. And that's the reason why we got this problem. Because a lot of y'all is Nicodemus. You want to you go behind closed doors and talk about stuff. That's what you want to do. You don't want to tell the truth openly because, and, and then when that guy came up there, 
I don't know what that guy name. I was gonna mention his name. When I get his name, I mention name. He's supposed to be a friend. He probably unfriend me after this. But the thing is, is this: they gonna sit up and talk. I don't even know where he be at. He be on TV all day. If, 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 I, I'm gonna get his name. I don't know what the guy name is, but he's supposed to be some type of icon from the past. I don't know. He not even. You don't know where he's standing. He even standing. He, he wanted to criticize Carlton Pearson for for. for, for you know, and I wasn't on Carton Pearson's side neither. But then you want to criticize Carton Pearson. But you don't want to sit up there and deal with T.D. Jakes. I'm asking a question. What he's doing at P. Diddy House? And some of y'all supposed to be holding me. Well, you have backslidden. You're backslidden. 